Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the seventh video of Windows Server 2016 step by step tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how to configure Windows backup, Windows Server backup on Server 2016. So let's have some idea about my demo environment. In my demo environment I am using one virtual machine which is Win2K16 DC01. I have installed Active Directory and Domain Control on this server. So this server is a basically domain control in my infrastructure. So here you can see I have installed Active Directory and DNS role is on my server and if you go to local server you can see the domains windows or computer name server name domain name and IP address and the RAM CPU all these details so also I want to show you drive which is attached to my uh, this computer basically if you go to computer management you, you are able to find the drives which are connected with the server so here you can see we have two drive OS disk which is uh, 126 GB Windows Server 2016 uh, OS disk and I have one uh, disk here attached to, as a D drive which is 200 GB in size and you can see the verify the same from here the D drive is attached with the server for 200 GB so let's do the task so the first thing is we need to install Windows Server Backup from Server Manager so I'm going to click on my uh, Server Manager I am on uh, Server Manager and click on Manage Add Rule and Feature so Windows Server uh, Backup is a uh, basically feature which needs uh, which can be installed from um, a server manager so click next and installation installation type is role based or feature based so it's as our windows server is a feature based so we have to select the role and feature based installation click next and here is the server which is our, our domain control so click next and this is basically a role page where we can select the server role so i don't want to install any server role on this server so click on next on a features page we have to scroll down and here you can see the windows server backup windows server backup allow you to backup or recover your operating system application and data you can schedule backup and protect entire server or specific volumes so we can uh, set up for the full the full server backup or a specific drive or volume backup so we will see this after some time after the installation so click on next and confirmation this is going to be installed so yes there was no need to re reboot the server uh, for uh, like windows server backup so go and click install button so the starting installation so it will just take a minute or two minutes to get the installation done for windows server backup so just wait so the installation is started on win2k16 dc01 so just wait for uh, get the installation done so installation succeeds on our server so you can go ahead and close this and now you have to launch the server uh, windows server backup so on the tools scroll down and we have windows server backup at the last so click on it so windows server backup is open and you can see the local backup and we have also online backup uh, which is uh, on a, like microsoft azure backup so i will i will have going to make a, a separate video for windows server azure backup as well as uh, so definitely watch those videos also and here you can see local local backup last backup status is not there uh, next backup time is not there and number of uh, uh, available backup is also not there because we have not scheduled any backup or run taken any backup so you can you can perform a single backup or schedule backup for a regular backup using this application so no backup has been configured for this computer so I am going to do one thing I'm going to schedule a backup basically here. So backup schedule and next 
and here you can see what type of configuration do you want to schedule a backup so if you go with the full server backup it it will take the all the drive and everything here just for here you can see the it will take the full server backup for now i want to take a custom backup so i want uh, i want to choose a, uh, a custom volume or file for backup so click next and add item here you can see i'm uh, you can add a system state or basically bare metal so i'm going to take the uh, backup for the bare metal and if you click ok it means we can recover this server uh, in the worst case like uh, we did uh, the all the drive has been destroyed and the server have no more existence on the network and everything is gone then we can uh, bring the new bare metal machine by using by recovering this uh, image so click next and definitely there was one schedule so I'm going to put this on like you can see 12 a.m. it's 11 uh, 42 p.m. for now so click next and if you want to take a more than one backup then you can definitely add from here like you can add 9 p.m. remove it and just go add add 12 a.m. and you can also add like 6 p.m. so you can schedule a many backup for this this and click next and where you want to store a backup so backup to be stored on hard drive which is dedicated for backup so I'm going to make the my D drive available for backup only so for now you can see this is the backup drive where I want to take the backup of my this this uh, server so uh, I want to go with this option only which is recommended by also Microsoft so click next and we have the so all available disk so it will uh, it will give you the available disk which is my D drive is basically available for uh, making this backup and click next and this is confirming that uh, when you fin uh, finish this wizard the selected hard drive will be reformatted and all the existing volume and data on the disk will be deleted so means the machine the windows server backup is going to delete this drive and format this drive and it will use this drive for backup only so make sure you have no data on a drive which is which you are going to select for backup only so be careful here click next and now we have the like you are about to create a backup for following schedule 12 am 6 pm file exclude none and advanced option vss copy backup and we have the drive and we have the back backup items here so click on finish and here you can see formatting disk so like you can see the d drive is gone from here and if you want to see the d drive now you can see that you have successfully created the backup schedule if you close then we have next backup schedule which is uh, like uh, 16 minutes from now and we have all backup copies here so if you click here now and now we have a next backup time and no num uh, number of backup available zero and last backup is here so I am going to run the backup now before this I want to show you the drive so open the computer management desk management here you can see the drive is uh, is reformatted and created one volume here basically which cannot be clear uh, uh, browse because we, uh, the drive don't have any uh, you can say the any drive letter so it's okay so go here and you can go and run this backup so I'm going to run the backup once so click on backup once and here we have we have two options create a backup uh, now using schedule backup option which we have just created and you can see the schedule backup here which we have created just either you can see the different option and you can go with the uh, same option and you can uh, run the single backup for now so I'm going to run the uh, backup from schedule backup option and click next and click on backup So now you can see the backup has been initiated and creating shadow copy of volume so it will take some time to create the backup for uh, for the schedule backup 
and just give some time you can see backup not started it will take some time it will execute after creating the like things so now you can see the backup in process and it's about to taking the backup so backup has been initiated and now it's it will take some time to complete the backup so I'm pausing the recording here once the backup is done I will show you the uh, next things so we are on the last step run the backup on server so we'll we'll verify this after uh, backup completed so pausing the recording here so here you can see the backup is completed and we have one job successful and one job is failed because uh, the backup schedule is for <coughs> for 12 am and we are running the backup schedule so here you can see we have successful number of uh, available backup one and successful backup at the time the last time and next backup mm -hmm. will run on 24 6 pm so mm -hmm. this is the all and if you want to run the backup once again whenever you want to run this backup just click on backup once and go ahead and backup so it will uh, take the backup at the current state of uh, server and it will save automatically on the given path so also make a copy of or uh, two for this server so we can uh, recover the uh, one of the backup in next video so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail id thank you once again bye bye